In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Good evening all and welcome to this, our act of worship in the form of the office of evening prayer. And I'm so glad that you can draw aside and become still with me as we give this time to God. I trust and pray that you are all well and that you are keeping safe. The Lord is King. Let the earth rejoice. Let us worship and praise him. Lord, open our lips that we may glorify and praise your name. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. We are on page 55 in our Anglican prayer books, and I invite you to say paragraph 47 with me. Come, bless the Lord. Come bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you who night by night stand in the house of our God. Lift up your hands towards the holy place and bless the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion, the Lord who made heaven and earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. What a wonderful opportunity we have to come before God this evening and to lay ourselves at his feet. And so I invite you all to call to mind all your sins and confess them to God for our God is faithful, just, and forgiving. And so let us confess together. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, in penitence we confess that we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought, word, and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, Christ our Lord, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and keep us in eternal life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our psalm for this evening is Psalm 89. Psalm 89 from verse 39 to verse 53 can be found on page 717 in our prayer books. Psalm 89 verse 39 to verse 53 on page 717. Yet you have been enraged against your anointed, and you have abhorred him and rejected him. You have spurned the covenant with your servant and defiled his crown to the dust. You have broken down all his walls and made his strongholds desolate. All that pass by plunder him. He has become the scorn of his neighbors. You have exalted the right hand of his adversaries and gladdened all his enemies. His bright sword have turned backwards. You have not enabled him to stand in the battle. You have brought his luster to an end. You have caused, cast his throne to the ground. 
You have cut short the days of his youth and clothed him with dishonor. How long, O Lord, will you hide yourself so utterly? How long shall your fury burn like fire? Remember how I draw to my eternal end. Have you created all mankind for nothing? Where is the man who can live and not see death? Who can deliver his life from the power of the grave? Where, O Lord, are your loving kindness of all, which you have vowed to David in your faithfulness? Remember, O Lord, how your servant is reviled, how I bear in my bosom the onslaught of the peoples. Remember how your enemies taunt, how they mock the footsteps of your anointed. Blessed be the Lord forever. Amen and Amen. Our lesson is written in Mark chapter 15 and I read from verse 40 to verse 47. Mark chapter 15, reading from verse 40 to verse 47. Some people were watching from a distance. Among them were Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James the younger, and Joseph, and Salome. In Galilee, these women had followed him and cared for his needs. Many other women who had come up with him to Jerusalem were also there. The burial of Jesus. It was preparation day, that is the day before the Sabbath. So as evening approached, Joseph of Arimathea, a prominent member of the council, who himself wait, who himself waiting for the kingdom of God, went boldly to Pilate and asked for Jesus' body. Pilate was surprised to hear that he had already died. Summoning the centurion, he asked him if Jesus had already died. And when he learned that the centurion, when he learned from the centurion that it was so, he gave the body to Joseph. So Joseph brought some linen cloth took down the body, wrapped it in linen, and placed it in a tomb cut out of rock. Then he rolled up a stone against the entrance of the tomb. Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of Joseph, Joseph saw where he was laid. Here ends the lesson. Dear friends, this evening... Both the psalmist and the gospel writer reminds us of the frailty of life. The psalmist asks the question, where is the man who can live and not meet death? Who can deliver his life from the power of the grave? This evening as we meet, this past few months, this past few weeks, this past few days have been very traumatic as many of us stood at the burial grounds of many of those whom we've loved and shared special relationships with. And over this time, I see how people are mourning and how broken they are, how fragile we are. 
but the wonderful news, dear brothers and sisters, in the midst of our pain, in the midst of our brokenness, we read again the wonderful, beautiful story of Jesus' death, his burial, that it is true that we are reminded again that Jesus came for you and me, that he gave his life for us, that he died, that he was buried, but he will also rise again. And therein lies our hope. And so this evening, amidst all that we are faced with and challenged with, May we take hope that God knows our hearts. God knows our thoughts. He knows everything about us because he had given his son Jesus Christ to die on the cross for you and me that we may be reconciled to him. The wonderful thing is that this God of creation, this God that is Lord of all, knows your pain, knows your suffering. For he too felt everything and understands our human condition more than we will ever know as he gives himself for you and me. And so let us be encouraged this evening. Let us take hope from this passage that our lives are not over when we die, but that we get to spend it with Christ in all of eternity. So may you be encouraged especially those that have lost loved ones, that we said so long and not goodbye. Because our eternal home is with Christ. Amen. The song of Simeon. Lord, now let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and to the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We say the Apostles' Creed together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, he suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father in heaven, Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, 
your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. O oh God, our Father, who has called us to pray for all, we remember at this evening time those who especially need our prayers. Bless those who are lonely and who feel their loneliness worst of all at evening time. Bless those who are sad and who, are, who at evening time feel most of all the absence of someone who they loved and lost a while. Bless those who are ill and those who will not sleep this night and those who this night will take to ease their suffering, sufferous pain. Bless those who have no home and no family circle to call their own. O oh God, who art everywhere present, bless this, our home, and help us to remember that Jesus is always our unseen guest. And so help us never in this place to do or say something which will make him sad to see. Keep us this night in the dark hours and grant us kindly sleep and make us feel around us and about us the clasp of your everlasting arms which will never let us go. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God of love, your embrace includes everyone. Open our hearts and minds to your generous will, that in what we say and do we proclaim Christ's love and serve the needs of our neighbors through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And so lighten our darkness, Lord, and by your great mercy defend us in all perils and dangers of the night for the love of your only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And so the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all forever. Amen. Dear friends, I trust and pray that you will have a peaceful and restful evening. Goodbye.